why would such a basic app not work? I mean, according to the news, right? Because we have how many news agencies? We've got CNN, MSN, BC, and then we have Fox News, and then we have CBS, basically. They're all owned by, they're all controlled by Jewish people. And then we have Mark Zuckerberg, who's in charge of Facebook, which basically is propaganda book, because he's in control of what you see, everything you see. All right, so why would there be a problem with the app? There are only 99 people who have to use the app. There are 99 precincts. So wait, wait, why, why does that make a difference? Because there's such little traffic. Because could I write that app and never have to worry about it breaking? Yes. Could I write it on the internet? Yes. I can write a WordPress website. Super easy. Very basic input. You don't have to... Ha like the, the problem with apps is when you have a lot of traffic or you have complex input. And so I'm just saying no one understands how the most basic app in the world is not working. Especially when all you have to do is pull out your phone... And text message someone the results. Because 99 results don't take very long to tabulate. But now we're still waiting on, um, what, 30% of the vote? And so everyone's sitting there going, everyone in Iowa is going, wait. This is the first time I've ever seen democracy completely thrown out in the United States. Where... People are literally caucusing with with one another. They are looking at one another going, this is who we're voting for. They're standing together. And then the American government's going, nope, don't know what you're saying. You can't vote. That I mean, maybe that maybe I'm wrong. I sure was right that that um, Mark Zuckerberg's pulling for the Jewish candidate and Buttigieg, you know, Bernie Sanders. And the fact that Sanders could caucus that well after his heart attack is still like, what? But I understand Iowa knows all the candidates, but Iowa is also where people move to Iowa to help presidents, to help people become president. Like, it's like an organized effort. Like, that, 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 it's weird how a state can have a certain amount of their population that are part of the swamp. Like, people that are in charge of the party there, right? What's the Democratic Party like? What's the Republican Party like? Do you have people that are basically best friends with the politicians that are in charge? I mean, of course, everyone, everyone's best friends. With, I'm, just, I'm just saying, like, how is the news like this? How will we throw out democracy? Or how can we? I, I mean, it's the cornerstone of our society. I came up with an idea to guarantee the democracy, right? This blockchain voting system where it's just JSON objects. Well, or what is it one or multiple JSON? It's a JSON file. And you can see that your vote counted. Super easy. It would be especially awesome if we did a blockchain voting system. Well, I guess we don't need a blockchain voting system for reporting precinct results, right? Because you can see it on TV, but right now we can't see it on TV because they're delaying it. It's kind of a secret to the government is you, when, when you want a news cycle to pass, you'll delay results you don't want to say. And then I guess they're going to say it later. Am I going to get delegates? Because if I get delegates, shouldn't I be able to campaign? Shouldn't I be able to meet people? Shouldn't I be able to know what's going on? I hear that TikTok is my app, like where like... I, I would normally be like, they're, they're a Chinese company, but they're the only app where you can get like actual truth because Facebook is completely biased. They're completely into brainwashing people to vote for Buttigieg, which, okay, you, no matter what you think about this guy, he's not who's going to protect the United States. Like they are a threat to the United States. Certain people in the United States are a huge threat to our survival. And I, I don't think anybody's going to realize it because you're just too important. 